showing you some archival material from Good Evening Ghana. So what are we doing? We're doing this um, at, the, at the second half of this year. We're deciding to go back to our uh, 16 and a half year history of producing and presenting this program to you for Metro TV. Thank you very much, all of you patrons who have been with us for that long and for patrons who have been with us uh, later and, and recently, uh, just to share with you how we used to look, what we used to do, and what we used to say. Now, this program that we are showing to you was uh, broadcast in uh, 2003. Uh, what does that make it? 12 years ago? And it was on around the June 4th celebration. It was the second year of the boom speech that had been given at June 4th. My guests in the studio included Kwekuba, co-captain So and Honorable Ben Kumbo, and the Australia was the host of the program. Let's see it. It's a, it's a three and a half minutes trailer. Here it is. Uh, so June 4th has gone into the annals of history to join those days that later lost their significance as far as the holiday issue is concerned, the 24th February, the 13th January, and um, the June 4th, the 31st December. June 4th is no longer a holiday. But the NDC found, found occasion, or rather the June 4th movement found occasion to celebrate it. Last year they held a public lecture at which the famous or infamous boom speech was delivered. And this year they have also held a lecture. Former President Rawlings was at the lecture and he spoke. We'll be showing you excerpts of some of the things he said and we'll be discussing it. But more importantly, we are looking at the relevance of June 4th to our current political culture and our political life. My guest in the studio, Captain Joel Su, who was uh, not quite a member of the June 4th activities, but uh, he was there. And also Mr. Kukuba, an authority on the relevance of June 4th and uh, why June 4th came about. And in defense of June 4th, I'm sure Kukuba should write a book titled In Defense of June 4th. And Dr. Ben Kumbo, a member of parliament who this afternoon also delivered a lecture at the June 4th uh, celebration or the June 4th lecture organized by the June 4th movement. Gentlemen, you're welcome to the studio. Uh, thank you. Assuming that the elections of 79 took place as they have been scheduled to do <laughs> without the events of June 4th, 1979. Well, again, we are in the realm of uh, some hypothesis. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to put your hand on certain things. But I can tell you, I fortunately have been in the streets, on the streets, four or five years before June 4th. Uh, I also was a keen observer of the transition program. But there's one thing that happened with the election since we talked about elections. I tell you, the government, the military regime then, that is the AFIC, had no commitment as a corporate entity to any of the political contenders, and that helped a lot to make that particular election perhaps the fairest and the freest in Ghanaian history because of the non-commitment of the AFIC as a corporate body. Of course, individually, some of them had their own commitments, and I know about all of them and where they, they stood and where they voted, because after the voting, some of us were together and we were teasing each other as to what the outcome would be. But the corporate body... I can hear the screams from your rooms. Hey, ah, oh, I can hear, I can hear all that. We'll be doing this uh, going forward. We have uh, held on to uh, at least 500 of our old programs, and we'll be sharing with you. We'll create... Um, a window for it on our Facebook page, Good Evening Ghana Archives. And when you're aboard, perhaps you can go there and pick up uh, 2004. We have significant interviews with today's politicians, some with President Akufado, uh, some with opposition leaders, uh, some with people who have passed, so we will not be able to show it, uh, like Professor Mills and others. Uh, but we have some, th some very interesting things. When our production team looked at it today, we we're all screaming the way you are, A-R-O, and uh, that's how it used to be.